right now we are fishing. We can use this mukene net the same time. It is it can be used for grading. It can be used for grading, it can be used for fishing. This is 400 grams, this is 800 grams. Now when we are selling, we can sell off this generation. The rest of this generation is left also to mature, also to grow. So that is all about aqua farming. That's why we are saying this generation, people must enjoy. What is the required size on the package? As long as it is 300 and above, that is a required mark, that is a required size, and that is a needed size. Welcome back from that short break. This is Farm Smart. And before the break, we were talking about ponds, the feeds, and how to take care of the fish. So, Mr. Grace, you're still, you're still telling us how to feed the fish. Tell us more. In feeding, the most, the most serious thing every farmer should not skip, as we have said, you look at the prices of the, the, prices of the, of the feeds. We, we also say that we have to feed these fish three times or two times a day. But in, on a farm, every, every farmer should know that every f this fish, the, the, we, feed the, 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 we feed according to the feeds, we have to first consider the size of the fish, the number of the fish. What am I meaning that? When you are feeding, make sure that, take an example, we have one month old fish. That means one month old fish, it will be like 200, it will be like to 10 to 50, 10 to 50 grams around there, that is the average. So when they are 10 to 5 grams, 10 to 50 to 50 grams, it means they will be feeding powder. So we have different sizes and different, they will have different sizes of, 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 of feeds and also different types of, and different types of what? Feeds. Of feeds. Mm. So, when they are one month old, they are feeding on powder. When they go to two month old, they will be feeding on 0 0.5 or 0 0.8 pellet. That is 0 0.8 or 0 0.5 millimeter pellet. It means that pellet, when you are feeding trapia, make sure that it is 40% 40, 40 protein content. When it is Catfish, make sure that the feeds you are buying, it is 45% and 45, 45% crude protein. So, when they are three months old, we shall go to one millimeter pellet, depending on the company or the type of feed you are buying. From one millimeter, we shall go to two millimeter pellets. From two, two millimeter pellets, we shall go to three millimeter to that is three millimeter we have reached to the five month. So from the five month we shall go to four to, to, to four millimeter up to the time of harvest. Now when you have been feeding the light quantities, when I talk about quantities I mean the volume of feeds you are what? You are feeding. Yes. So when we reach at the we when we reach at let us say or oh, no oh, forty or no when we, we talk about 40, when we talk about 40%, when we talk about 40%, it means these fish, the nutrients of crude protein will reduce according to the growth. The, they, when they grow more, we reduce on the protein content, but we, we add other nutrients like carbohydrates, crude fiber, crude fat, all that. So at the fourth month, because we have said at this type, at this type of, at this, within the production or in the current situation of Uganda, the level feeds and the economy. Yes. Remember, when you are in fish farming, do not rely much on manufactured feeds. What you have to do, make sure that you, 
who are watching that at Farm Smart, you reach at a level. Take an example at Farm Month here at Great Fish Farm. At Farm Month, we mix our own feeds. We shall be mixing our own feeds. Depending on the nutrients we want and the, the, the target body weight we want. So as a must, that is, that, those are the key things you have to consider. Mixing your feeds at Farm Month and making sure that you are buying the the the, right, the feeds the, the right, right feeds, feeds yeah. when they have the right quantity of feeds you do what the right quantity of the right quality and the, the right nutrients within the feeds you are using so that is all about feeding so tell us basically mm. the stages how long how long do they take to mash the, when we are feeding very well mm. trap here in ponds it will take seven months strictly seven months you will have a, 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 a piece of fish which is around the average the average will be 500 800 grams to 600 400 around there yeah. that is depending on the water quality remember when we are talking about in the other last episode we talked about water quality if your water quality management is a bit good you will have what you will make you will you will do what you will make sure that the water quality will determine your growth so within seven months that is the gestation period in ponds six to five in cages so catfish to weigh like two to one, the average one, one kg to one and a half kg, two kg, the average, the, the average, it will, the average gestation period, it will be within seven to eight months. So that is the gestation period. It means within a year, we can harvest, we can harvest, we can harvest once, mm. but after one, like you can skip like one month. You renovate the ponds and you do so the restocking. So it's one season throughout the entire year? Not the, the entire year because remember I've said seven to six. So uh, half of the year, almost uh, half of the year, you can harvest. Mm. Depending, if you're feeding well, the water is good. Uh, the type of breed you have bought it, later can uh, like an example, you have bought it, the, the breed you have bought it at a great fish farm, automatic. So basically, mm. first tell us, mm. where do you get the fish? The fish, the what fish. What is the main market where you get the fish? The, the breeding. Yeah. The you breed. have like here at Grace Fish Farm, we hatch. So we, we you, you you go to any person with a hatchery. But when we talk about hatchery, mm. make sure that you have a person. You are buying a person. The the breeds all the fingerlings. Make sure that you are buying from a person who is satisfied from the Ministry of okay. Agriculture. For us, we are in the department of Nafiri. That, those are the people who verify us that the quality and the breed is it good so yeah. that is make sure that when you are buying you can buy from us you can buy you can buy from any person as long as easy satisfied from the ministry and like the best way of taking care of them when i've just brought them like when they're still when they're still young mm. the major thing you have to consider that you have prepared the, the water very well there are no flogs the the ponds are covered with the with the nets so to avoid the scavengers because one of the major challenges we have we have the predators. When I talk about predators, I include all reptiles, snakes, turtles, and all all that. Yeah. We have birds, and also we have another predator called human beings. That's why you are seeing here we have workers who stay here 24/7. Seven. Why? For the security of the farm, for the security of our fish, because we say that this is a business, make sure that in management we have what? We have people who are workers who sleep here 24-7 at the farm. And, and again, make sure that around the cleanliness of the, the cleanliness of the ponds. Why do we consider the cleanliness of the ponds? We talk about the cleanliness of the ponds only because of only one thing. Remember, snakes, we work within wetlands. And the snakes in the dry season, you will find that they move out from the other places to come in wetlands yeah. to feed on frogs. So when they come and they find this fish within the water or within an enclosed area, they will not go away. They will just get a certain kabush and stay there. They feed, they go and rest. They yeah. feed and they go and rest. They feed and they go and, and rest. rest. So make sure that in one of the major management of the ponds, make sure that you have a clean pond. Again, when we talk about cleaning the clean ponds, we are talking about planting grass. Why do we plant grass around the pond? What in the Bagana they call it pasparam. So, why do we plant this? We only plant pasparam for only one major reason. 
th that we make sure that the pasparam is planted to avoid erosion. Remember, we have created a slope. Yes. So we avoid the other water, to the, the, the running water to bring back the removed soil from the what? From the pond. Again, the, that is the only way we can control the what? The bushes. Because when you have pasparam, you can control it, you can slash, slash around. So as a must, that is, you, you will maintain the cleanness of the what? Of the farm or the ponds. When they are clean, they are safe, the snakes will not come, they also need bushes. So they will scare away snakes. Again, another way we can scare away snakes, we can plant tobacco all around. When you try to see around this farm, you'll find that we have a lot of tobacco. Mm -hmm. Then within this tobacco, we plant all around. Like in that time, the scent, when sunshine is, sunshine is, too, much. is too much, you'll mm -hmm. find that the scent from this tobacco, it will scare away the what? the snakes and other reptiles. But again, the so-called snakes at night, there is no sunshine. It yeah, means to this tobacco will no longer produce the other scent. So that's why you will see that all around the ponds we have planted oranges. Why? We see prey around these oranges, they remain with those chemicals. The, the, the oranges will remain with the, that scent of that scent with the chemicals on, the, on their leaves at least for 14 days. Yes. It means all reptiles and all snakes, they do not want that what? That tea? That scent. That scent from the, from the chemicals. From the chemicals. So yeah. that's why we plant oranges and other plants all around the, all around the what? The, 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 ponds. the, pond, the pond or the farm. Okay. So that is, we are preventing the predators. Mm. Again, when we talk about uh, one of other challenges we have no, here. Be, before we talk about the challenges, mm. so you said the best of t protecting mm. this, the ponds, all mm. the fish in the ponds is mm. planting the grass mm. and then putting oranges mm. and then tobacco. tobacco. Mm. So that's the best of protecting them. The best way again to protect them that you can fence, you can, fence. Uh, you can put a, a fence, mm. you can build a wall, you can put chain link as we have done here. You can do anything as long as it is you are making parameters to avoid strangers from entering from the farm. Then what of the sun doesn't affect because I'm saying it is shining. Uh, the sun will affect much our brothers who are doing the so-called backyard farming. Yeah. Those who are raising, those who are, who are rearing fish within tanks, yeah. with these pond liners, the backyard. Because they are in a small space like this one, again, within this small space, they have little water. So automatic for them, they have to put the a green, they, they have to put a, a, a net for greenhouse to avoid direct sun rays. Because the more sun rays, the water, it's the oxygen dissolved, the, the, at the rate at which oxygen is dissolved, mm. will go high. And again, the water temperatures will do what? Will go, will high. go high. But mm. here for us, we see we have permanent pipes with different volumes of water adding. We have those which are adding fresh water within the what? Within the pond. So, so for us, for we, ca we, do not, we do not have that problem. But mm. for our, for our, those, for the viewers at FarmSmart, those who are doing, those who are doing the backyard, in backyard, in tanks and other concrete ponds, make sure that you have, you cover the net for greenhouse to avoid sun rays. We are, I see some people, they rare fish mm. in lakes, but mm. they put in those nets. Those, those, those we call them cages. cages. Now, because the lake is too big, mm. we also do that. At Grace Fish Farming Services, we do that. You, if you're on lake, you want to do construction, or you want to construct for you a cage, just call us at Grace Fish Farming Services. We also do that. We we'll do all the services within the fish farming. So, in, why do they put them in cages? Mm. We enclose them, as you see here, we, we enclose them in the ponds. Yeah. So there we have cages. We construct cages with floaters. We shall do that in the next, in the next program. We can visit a lake mm. and we do that. We shoot a program on just purposely on cage what? On cage farming. So, so. so right now, mm. just give us an highlight of mm. the types of like or the type so how we do the, the cage farming yeah the cage farming what you have to first consider because a lake is owned by the government 
and it is owned by the government you have to go to the ministry before you do you have to get you to go to the ministry Be, the permission you you get the permission from your district okay. take an example for us we are coming from Buyukwe district we from Buyukwe district take an example i want rare fish in let us say Chigaya or any other katosi any other lake lake victoria you have to go to the district fisheries officer within your district and ask for what and ask for permission mm. After getting permission from that, they will send surveyors to see the impact. Where you want to do this is not a breeding area for fish on the lake. Are you not going to contaminate water? Other people are not there using the water. The community, how are you are going to affect? That is the major thing why they send surveyors on the what? On the lake. So when they are done with that, you can come at Grace Fish Farming Services. We, get, we say that you want to rear this number. For us, we consider that when you want to rear this number, when you want to rear this number, we say that you will need a, let us say someone is going to rear 10,000. A person who is going to rear 10,000 pieces of fish, this person will need, this person will need 8 by 8 meter cage. So that is what you want, what you need. After getting, a, after processing a license from the Ministry of oh. Of fisheries. Fisheries so field. after getting that, what you have to need, you will need floaters, they will map, they will map your area, they, they start from an acre. When you are licensing from the government, they will give you like an acre of land, like an how acre big of is water. My farm, mm. my farm is not a bit big, we are, uh, we, right now the ponds cover like half an acre, mm. that is what I, we cover. But we have another extension. So, other extensions. so basically, there's mm. the types of fish farming: mm. uh, cages, backyard, backyard and also and ponds. in ponds. Really, ponds. yes. So there are three. There are three majorly in Uganda. Those are the one satisfied, which can give you results, or which cannot, which you can, which are satisfied, and which people cannot make losses. And which one is the best for a small scale farmer? In a small scale, it is the ponds. Because the cost of a pond liner, which can rear 1,000 fish, it costs a pond liner, which, costs, uh, which can rear 1,000 fish. Mm -hmm. It can buy a, a land in wetland. Remember, most of, us here in, most of us here in Uganda, we have not valued much. We have not valued much wetlands. Mm -hmm. So people will say, ah, that, that one. They do not value the land in wetland as the other up where there are no what, mm. no water. So the cost, the, a person, the youth who are starting, who want to start fish farming, I, I prefer or they would prefer or I would advise them, they do in wetlands because here every, everything is a bit. Take an example, in backyard you have to buy tanks for water reserves, you have to buy again the tanks, you have to, the system needs electricity because yeah. you have to put air letters, air pumps, air stones. The other one is a bit complex, you need a technical person who will visit your farm at least two times a week mm. because there the, the, the rate at which water loses oxygen is a bit high and when water loses oxygen, automatically you will find that the, the fish has died and someone will say, they have poisoned on my fish, so automatic. The best, the best system will be, ponds. will be ponds because when you own land, you own it. It is not the government, but in lakes. But I'm not uh, discouraging anyone to in the lake. When mm. you are near the lake, you can afford it, go and do that. And get the license. So, mm. so give us an highlight on um, challenges. And the, the challenges, the challenges right now, full prices. Everyone knows. Any, uh, right now, who are watching us on Farm mm. Smart, the prices of feeds, when you see prices of other things have increased, even us, the cost inputs. The if the government would do, if, it, if the government is willing and wishing us well, they would have, right now, they would have come up with the agriculture, agriculture, agriculture programs which can subsidize the cost, the inputs, the inputs, most of all the inputs we have, we have nets, we yes. have the uppers, we have we have very many inputs which mm. we are buying. And again, remember, here in Uganda, we do not have aqua shops. You have to bring either from Kenya, we order from China. So those cost the inputs we use. Mm. Right now, the government, at least they would have reduced. The feeds, they're a bit high. Those are some of the challenges. When we talk about other challenges, this challenge is for the new people. 
the price, the, the, the market. Mm. But for us, we are a bit old right now. For us, we are going to, we yeah, are, we, own people, uh, we have connections. Have so those who are not, in, those who are, who do not have connections, you rather check within the districts. Right now we are forming associations within the districts. We have associations at national. We have associations right now for me. I mean, an association which for, for the youth mm. within the East Africa, the headquarters in Homa Bay in near Chisum. Yeah. So, Make sure that you have connections. Do not stay around and say people will find me here. Yeah. So try to look for the, make sure that you are within any association. One association will lead you to another. Take an example. For, for me, I was in the National the Farmers Association, which that is the, the one which linked me to the, to the association which, which coordinates within the East Africa. And within the East Africa, that is where I engaged within for the youth yeah. right now. So. To avoid most of the challenges, that's why you have called them challenges, not problems. Yeah. Because they have solutions. Take an example. For the site, for the sake of market, when you are connected within other farmers, you can call or you can say at Grace Fish Farming Services, where can I get the market? I have my fish. Can you help me to connect me to a Congolese? Can you help me to connect me to guys from Kenya? Mm. Are you because these people differ. Most of the people in Kenya. The buyers from Kenya, you find that for them, they buy fish which is above 400 grams. Yes. Again, people in Congo, they do not want big fish. They will buy fish which is a bit, which is 200, they buy from 400 and below. Yes, they can buy. Right uh, the because the Congolese love fish, as the Bagana love matoke, mm. but for them, they are not a bit rich. Okay. Eating fish is like a culture for the Congolese. Mm. So they are not so extravagant to buy a big fish like here you see in, U in Uganda. Most of the Baganda, again, they like big fish. Most of the people here in Uganda, people would prefer a kilogram, two kilograms and above. But remember, when you are producing, we will say that you have to look at the people. Are these people you are producing who need a kilogram, are mm. they willing to pay the real price or the costs for you you have incurred mm. to produce a kilo? Remember we said, if you want to produce a kilo of fish, you also have to put 1.3 kg of, of feeds so for you to produce a kilogram of fish. So you have to also look at who into that what? Into that cost. So the price of the feeds, we, the solution, make sure that at fourth month, you mix your own feed. What is our best market? The, the best market. The best market. Our fish. Our fish for farm, the best market for farm fish, it mm. is the Congolese. Congolese. Because for them, they will take any size as long as, because in the process of buying, of selling our fish, you have to go to the district and get a license so that you can photocopy it and give it to this buyer, so that when he's even taking a small fish, mm -hmm. no one will disturb him on the way. So when you are selling, you have go to the, your district and look for the district fisheries officer, and you get what? And you get the, you get the license and now, from that. And how is the consumption? Do Ugandans, do, do Ugandans eat fish? Or Ugandans eat fish, but mostly these days, the, the big buyer, mostly they are schools. schools most of the schools, some big, big schools, yeah. you'll find that they say, will you, able, will you be able at every weekend send us 500 pieces of fish? So most of these days, most of the schools have even ponds. They also add, they buy as an addition. And I'm also emphasizing other directors, the, the owners of schools, to, to incur in this. Because this is a business, and again, p students will also learn from the activities which are done with it. those people who have learned, big mm. schools yeah. which have learned, they would have they would have ventured within this business to make sure that when they have incurred within this business, they can do what they can do. They can do. They can. They they can be able to teach our, the next generation farming. Because remember, when we were at school, most of the people were discouraged to be farmers. But do, for us who are right now in the, the youth who are in farming, we are enjoying and we are living a normal life. So your last words? My but last words, those who, are, those who are following us, you can follow, you can follow me at, at, on Facebook. Um, it is called Grace Fish Farming Services, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. You just put Grace Fish, Grace Fish Farming Services, you'll find us. For the youth, farming is the way to go. For the youth, the farming is the way to go. If you are a youth, if you are any person, you can look around all government workers. Their retirement plan, 
come back to what? To farming. So just look, just choose. Are you in cattle? Are you in fish? Or oh, you are in banana, coffee? Make sure that as a youth, we come back to the roots. We come back to our roots. We Ugandans, this is the pearl of Africa. We receive, we receive two seasons in a, in, in a year. That means we God created this country and loved it with it. Natural resources, we have a lot of natural resources yeah, which, have not, yeah. yes, which have not used. So, the youth, it is we to change this generation. generation. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Grace. You're welcome. Yeah. So, this has been Farm Smart. We have been talking about Ako, Akkarisha. Ako Karisha, we have been basically covering fish farming. You can either use cage, cages, or you can use ponds, or you can do buckets. That's all. Backyard farming. Ba ba backyard farming. That has been our Farm Smart this week. My name is Chris Chitakaman. Thank you so much for watching.